Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tuesday edition of Video Clips. And I always have a few announcements, so here goes. Uh, the Women's Health Retreat is this weekend, or boot camp, I should say. It's a Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon via Zoom. Limited number of participants so we can all see each other in the Zoom room. And, um, and a lot of discussion and conversation. So we're gonna talk about screening tests and breast health and reproductive health and diet and hormones and menopausal weight gain and menopausal symptoms and all that stuff that you wanna know about. And the things that people ask all the time and wanna talk about like, is it okay to eat soy? Does it increase your risk of breast cancer and that sort of thing? So uh, we have a couple spots available. I like to keep these small so that we can have discussion and our boot camps last year were real successful for this reason. So uh, contact our office or send me an email at pampopper at msn.com if you're you're interested in joining us for this really great weekend. And if you live in a time zone where you're thinking, my gosh, at seven o'clock on Friday night, it's two o'clock in the morning where I am, we are going to record it so that you can watch it at a different time. And you can submit questions. And if I can get to them, uh, even if you're not there, I'll answer the questions if you submit them in advance. And then the other a uh, couple other things I wanted to let you know about is uh, March 3rd, that's next week, Thursday, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm holding another conference call for healthcare workers looking for opportunities. If you want to be in practice for yourself, we have great training programs. I'm going to give you practice models. It's free. All you have to do is tell me that you want to be included in this by sending me an email at pampopper at msn.com. And then every year in March, we have our annual food over medicine retreat. It's based on my still popular book. I'm really proud of this. We people like this book. It's never, it's a timeless book. The concepts in the book are not going to ever be outdated. But there's always lots of new information to share on the topics, which I do every year. It's an all day event. It includes lunch and you can do it two ways. You can either come to Columbus and join us and you can make a weekend out of it. Come to yoga on Friday night um, and, and get dinner from our deli case and then spend uh, Saturday with us and have lunch with us and participate in the seminar and all that good stuff. So um, that's the news for today. Now, what I want to talk about is diet. I love talking about diet, of course. Um, but I want to talk about diet and respiratory infections. So respiratory tract infections are a major cause of mortality and morbidity. This might shock you a little bit, but there were 2.4 million deaths worldwide in people of all ages from acute respiratory infections just in the year 2016. Um, a large body of evidence shows a very strong connection between diet and susceptibility to all illness, including viral infections. And it's a well accepted fact that diet's a major contributor and factor in the development of conditions like obesity, type 2 diabetes, coronary artery disease, and hypertension, all of which increase the risk of more severe respiratory illnesses. A new study published in the journal BMJ Nutrition showed that both plant-based diets and pescatarian diets were associated with a lower risk of moderate to severe COVID-19. The researchers focused on physicians and nurses in six different countries. They were France, Germany, Italy, Spain, UK, and USA, who had regular exposure to patients with COVID-19 due to their job settings. For example, uh, workers in emergency medicine or critical care. There were 2,884 eligible out of a pool. They started with like over 7,300 of them. Healthcare workers who followed a plant-based diet had a 73% reduced risk of moderate to severe COVID-19. And for pescatarians, the risk was 59% lower. On the other hand, following a low carb, high protein diet was associated with a slightly higher risk of moderate to severe COVID-19 as compared to those who followed a plant-based diet. The researchers defined both plant-based diets and pescatarian diets as eating patterns that are high in plant foods and low in animal products. And they noted that pescatarian diets, if they're done well, are within the spectrum of plant-based diets and include fish while restricting the intake of meat. The researchers note that this isn't the only study that has shown a connection. Other studies have shown that fruit and vegetable intake is associated with a lower risk of upper respiratory infections like colds and flu and sinusitis. Now the strengths of the study included a large sample size, a diverse group of healthcare workers from several countries and careful accounting for confounding variables. And the limitations are, and you, you guys who listen to me all the time, you know, I talk about this self-reported data 
However, the diets reported by the healthcare workers were consistent with the prevalent dietary patterns in the countries in which they lived, which added a little more credence to the accuracy. But I think the reason I wanted to talk about this study more than anything is that I like to see more focus on prevention. It's all well and good to talk about how to treat illness, and we do need to talk about that for people who are ill, but the goal we should all have is to not get sick if we can avoid it. You can't avoid all illness. I mean, I've had the flu and colds and, you know, stuff happens, but you can prevent most of what happens if you take care of yourself. Prevention is always easier than trying to fix it once something goes wrong. So if you're not eating well, this is a good time to start. If you're overweight or you have high blood pressure or you're a type 2 diabetic, these are conditions that respond really, really, really well to dietary change. And um, the best time to start is now. Putting it off never helps. Recommend starting today if you haven't already um, if you're not already eating a health promoting diet, staying hydrated, exercising, doing all the stuff that you're supposed to do to keep yourself healthy. All right. That's all for today. As usual, pass this on to anybody who you think would enjoy watching it. And I'll be back to you tomorrow with more news.